Hello, and welcome to Bearing in Mind Beer Reviews. From today, we will be looking at uh, five uh, very new beers from uh, Kyoto Brewing Company in Kyoto, Japan. And they are uh, one of the better breweries in Japan in my estimation, uh, if not the best. And uh, they have been around for about five years now. In fact, they are just, uh, uh, just past their uh, fifth anniversary. They started in 2015 and uh, showed up at the Kyoto Craft Beer Festa and poured their first beer, uh, which was appropriately called Hajime Mashite, which is uh, nice to meet you uh, in Japanese. And uh, they have been around for you know, five years and, and gradually grown into one of the better breweries in Japan. Actually, I shouldn't say that. They really started out as one of the better breweries in Japan, and uh, they have consistently been good. Um, and I should give a full disclosure. I happen to know the three founders of the brewery. Uh, they are an American, a Canadian, and a Welshman. And uh, they met when they were on the JET program, uh, which uh, provides uh, language teaching, uh, professionals to uh, high schools and junior high schools throughout Japan and they met when they were quite a bit younger in northern Japan and uh, the main brewer, head brewer, apparently had this dream of uh, opening a brewery uh, and he uh, came to Kyoto to live and he worked at a university in Kyoto and the other two worked in Tokyo in uh, various uh, financial businesses, uh, financial firms. And um, one of them uh, decided to get an MBA. And in fact, I, uh, one night in a bar in Kyoto, I met uh, the head of his MBA program, who had been an old friend of mine from you know, a long time ago. And he mentioned that he had been his MBA advisor and his master's program, uh, MBA uh, thesis project was designing a business, which is a brewery. Uh, so, and it was the design for this Kyoto brewery. Uh, in the meantime, the head brewer uh, went to the U.S. for training and also did an internship in uh, Lost Abbey in Southern California, and also did uh, another internship at Shiga Kogen in Nagano Prefecture in Japan, which is one of the better breweries in Japan for sure. And he was also a very active home brewer um, in Kyoto. And we would occasionally meet and he would give us his home brews and we would uh, enjoy them and comment on them. And uh, uh, he was an excellent home brewer. Anyway, right out of the gate in 2015, they started making great beers and they haven't looked back. Um, and today we're going to look at five of their new beers, and this came in a set. Uh, they have recently started a couple of clubs that you can join to get monthly deliveries of beer, and I joined the two two different sets uh, clubs, uh, one uh, with very special kind of limited edition beers, and one with their which will feature just their regular uh, regular new beers. Uh, they have often some seasonals that they put out. Uh, this beer, well. Actually, uh, I'll announce it in the next episode here, but uh, uh, Kyoto Brewing is one of the better breweries in Japan. We're going to look at five new beers from them. And now we'll take a look at a, another beer from Kyoto Brewing, and this is also a fairly recent one. Uh, this is a beer that's uh, basically in my favorite style, which is a double IPA or imperial IPA. And this one is called Kyoto Brewing Tsurube. Uchi, and uh, it was translated as one-two punch, or uh, it has a sense of a kind of a continually punching or shooting back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, so uh, uh, kind of maybe the sense of energetically hard hitting. Um, and on Rate Beer, this one has only one rating, and it, that's at 3.7. Um, so I don't know much else about the beer. Uh, it is 9%er, and, and 
and that is all they say here about it. In any case, uh, I think we should give this one a go, and I'm going to sip on it slowly. As I said, it's my favorite style, uh, or one of my favorite styles, very definitely, double IPA, uh, Imperial IPA, but the thing is, you got to go slow with these ones, because uh, at 9%, you know, they'll uh, catch up to you pretty fast. Let's try a little bit more in there. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, it, uh, it looks a little bit slightly murky. Uh, hazy, sort of deep, kind of honey, honey yellow brown sort of color with a you know, almost a full finger of kind of hmm, not really spongy, but uh, sort of big bubbled head. And let's try the aroma. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So I'm getting the same kind of hops out of this as, uh, as I just had in uh, this altogether, last altogether beer, their IPA they made. Um, very tropical, kind of, kind of dank, uh, very rich, and the maltiness behind it is coming up as well. So this beer probably has a considerable body. Okay. Well, it hides the alcohol pretty well. Um, so the initial has this kind of concentrated fruitiness, tropical fruit, stone fruit. There's a touch of saltiness. It's not really umami, a kind of saltiness that sort of hits the tongue in mid palate. Um, and kind of like a little seasoning onto the beer. Okay, it does have some alcohol warmth. Uh, you can feel that, but it's fairly well disguised in the beer. Um, you get a sense it's there, but uh, it doesn't really appear, you know, on top as a strong presence. So this one basically has a lot of fruit. Uh, And some some serious hoppiness in there too. Um, so it's like crushed crushed stone fruit and tropical fruit blended together, uh, whipped into a kind of cocktail, and uh, yeah. So the warmth kind of sticks with you in the back of the throat. Uh, you can feel it, um, but when you're drinking, when you're drinking, it really doesn't come out that much. So uh, very nice. A double IPA. I would like to have more of this one for sure. Um, uh, I think I've said this before is that Kelto Brewing does not make bad beers at all. Um, in fact, I've talked to the the brewer there before and he said they have never thrown out a batch uh, in their five years of existence. Um, and so uh, I think we can you know trust that almost anything they make will be worth your while. This one certainly is. Uh, so I would say if you live in Japan, you can go online and buy a variety of Kyoto beers in sets and individually. Uh, so uh, go online and if you like double IPAs, uh, this is a great one to try. Again, it's called Tsurube Ichi, uh, double IPA at 9% from Kyoto Brewing. Give it a go, okay? Um, so we're trying to support breweries during this difficult time, and a lot of them are offering, you know, nice deals on uh, their beers online. So you can go on and find all kinds of beers that are available from uh, from breweries, and Kyoto Brewing is one of them. Please do give them a go, and uh, tune in next time. We're going to be looking at uh, a very interesting beer uh, from Kyoto Brewing uh, that they made with an inspiration from uh, Heretic in the United States, uh, brewing style that uh, they learned from Heretic, and we'll try that out next time. That's it for today. Uh, please take care of yourself. Uh, 
uh, the coronavirus is still with us and even though things may be opening up here and there you should uh, you know take it easy with uh, socializing and wear a mask at all times uh, okay please leave me a comment and subscribe to the channel okay take care bye bye